alternative funding scheme, which sounds simple, but it, it isn't. It's a novel scheme with ambitious uh, timescales. It's a complex cohort with a range of different energy arrangements, from off-grid, direct to commercial, um, and intermediaries. Um, uh, the honourable lady can chunter from the front bench, but she w should and uh, should recognise that the complexity and challenge in this. And uh, when when we looked at the February delivery for the portal, I of course. Um, again, challenge it. And I met uh, a few days ago with those, it, the four local authorities, the pilot local authorities who are working across this, across um, uh, Great Britain, all the devolved um, uh, areas of, the, of GB, to talk to them about what the situation was. And we must make sure that we get all of those complexities sort, sorted out, because they said that if we did not um, make sure that we get it right first time. It would actually delay payments to consumers. And my priority is to get the funding to people as quickly as it can. Uh, we, 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 have to make sure, we have to make sure that uh, people are already not already receiving the main EBSS, because we've got to look after public money, that the bank account is verified and legitimate, and the individual lives at that address. And these records are held across government, local authorities and banks, requiring a complex case management system. Uh, local authorities need to be able to access the system securely, requiring multi-factor authentication, and some local authorities don't have the ability to implement this quickly. Um, so robust fraud checks are necessary when you have an application-based system, and inevitably for this particular uh, group, an application-based system, there was no alternative to it. So each iteration of application process needs to be tested. Um, and so. Uh, I, have, I say we are. I am confident that we will have that portal up by or on uh, Monday, the 27th of February, and we will make sure that working with local authorities, upon whom we rely, and I would like to thank the, the four pilot um, authorities and other local authorities, we need to make sure their staff are trained up, that these uh, complexities have been dealt with, they have a robust system, so that when people do apply, we can swiftly process those applications and make sure the families get that money which they do so direly need. And I fully accept the point about the need for speed. Selene Saxby. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I thank my honourable friend for his answer. This government has given huge support.